Hey, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Today I'm going to talk about the Zooms. Brand new Zooms from Microsoft, which uh, were announced, I believe, midnight tonight, or midnight this morning. Um, Microsoft has really come through. They, they updated their Zooms. There are now two flash models, 4 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte. And there's also a <coughs> Excuse me, an 80 gigabyte model, which uh, which essentially has a lot of the same hardware features as the previous Zooms. Now, the thing that impressed me, in a sense, is that Microsoft rolled out a firmware update for the old Zooms, which included all of the software features of these new Zooms. The new software features, one of the things that there's a, there's quite a few, but. The ones that stand out to me is that you can now sync with your desktop wirelessly, which for the life of me, I don't know why things can't do this everywhere. Um, you can also, uh, there, <coughs> excuse me, there's a, there's a few other features such as the ability to, uh, to listen to podcasts. Now I noticed on the, on the pictures that there is a picture or a menu item for podcasting and there's also some Windows Media TV out support I believe and some other things like that but the thing that impressed me the most about the Zoom is that the new Zooms and the old Zooms are going to have the exact same firmware or the exact same software packages installed on them and uh, <clears throat> that's pretty impressive I mean this is something that I think Microsoft is doing to gain a, a user base to gain the trust of the community is something that a lot of companies do when they're behind in the market. Um, they tend to take these steps, these extra steps to make the users happy. Now, once Microsoft, or if Microsoft takes the lead um, on, this <coughs> on this particular market, that may change, that may change quickly. So, <laughs> don't get too used to it. Apple still does this for a lot of things, um, <clears throat> most recently they did it for the iPod Touch and the iPhone where they introduced the iTunes Wi-Fi music store for the iPod Touch and they say okay we're gonna put that on the iPhone as well so the people who invested in it you know you're still gonna have these features now it's not as drastic as what the Zoom did but it's just an example of how Apple has done this as well other companies have done it um, in the form of backwards compatibility, you know, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox, Xbox 360, GameCube, and Wii. All these people, they, they try to protect the investments of their loyal customers. And this is what Microsoft is doing with the new Zoom. And uh, I applaud it. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it with a skeptical eye because I know how companies act when they're behind in the market. But because um, Apple is, I mean, Apple has done the opposite of this and they've actually done this as well. But now that they're in the lead in the iPod market, you don't see it. <clears throat> you don't see it all that often now because, you know, they got us. I mean, all the people who own iPods and iPhones and iPod touches, you know, Apple has that market. So they, they can afford to be idiots <laughs> and uh, <coughs> still make a buck because a lot of people won't care. But Microsoft is behind, and uh, they're going to do this. And this is how Microsoft kind of took the lead in the browser market, too. And uh, in the operating system market, you know, they really acted as, you know, they, they really catered to the developers on Windows, and uh, it propelled them. So Microsoft, they know what they're doing. And if Apple is smart, they would be watching closely, and they wouldn't be sitting comfortable because Mark, Microsoft is a competitor to the, the Zoom is a competitor to the iPod, despite the, the small sales of the uh, of the initial units. But you know, the iPod needs competition in form of the music store and the unit. And I'm hoping Microsoft does it. I mean, people are like either Zoom or iPod. I hate one and I love the other. I'm all for competition because it drives lower prices, it drives better features, and it gives us the end users better choices on what we want to use and how we want to use them. Just take a look at the console market now, the gaming console market. With the 360, the Wii, and the PlayStation 3, it is a fierce battle going on. <laughs> and as a result, we're seeing great games such as Halo 3 and Heavenly Sword and 
all these great games warhawk on the ps3 mario galaxy is coming out on the wii i mean we're going to see some really really innovative things and competition is really driving that so i applaud microsoft for the zoom and uh i may be looking at possibly doing a zoom giveaway <laughs> on top of my halo giveaway we'll see about that this thing is slated to launch november I believe it's November 11th. I'll have to double check this, but I think it's November 11th that the Zoom, new Zooms are going to launch, and uh, we'll see how Microsoft does. I, I'm imagining they're going to sell more units. People are going to look at how they treated their first adopters, and they're going to respect that, and they're going to say, okay, instead of getting that new iPod I wanted, I'll try this Zoom thing out. Well, nobody's had one yet, so we don't know how they work, but we'll see. This is one from one of that TV saying I need a cough drop <laughs> and I need to I really need to nail this cold into the ground for 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 good.